Hi everyone. In this short video, we are going to look at the approach how DP can be leveraged upon to connect to the database using the zero standing privileges approach. So here, so what I did as my first step, so I'll, I have spin off a database. So I'm using a Postgres database, uh, leveraging upon AWS RDS service. So we will try to connect to this Postgres database using the uh, zero standing approach. So here, so what we have to do in DPA, we have to leverage upon one of the strong account. The strong account for database is stored in the privilege cloud. So this is what my strong account is. So here, if I click on details, so you will be able to see my strong account details are my username is Postgres, my address and so on and so on. So here, what we will do, we will be using PG admin. So PG admin is one of the most uh, commonly used tool. So we are going to register a new server. So here, I'm gonna say the server name as uh, DPA zero standing DB access. So we will click on connection. In connection, I'm gonna go to the connection guidance. So we are going to select databases, PostgreSQL. I'm going to copy my host name. So after that, in the username, so we are going to come here. So here it is talking about the target user. This user is an optional parameter. So we have to key in this user only for the vaulted account. So currently we are not gonna use a vaulted account. So we are going to leave it uh, blank. So here in the FKTN, so we have to copy the, the, the database endpoint. So I'm gonna copy this entire string. So let's paste it here. So here you can see there are two and, so I'm gonna remove one of them. Then you have to provide your password. It's the same password your user is using to authenticate to cyber account entity. I'm gonna, I'm going to provide it the password. In the parameter, I'm going to increase the connection timer to thousand seconds. So then what I'll do, we'll click on save button. It takes around 10 to 15 seconds to connect to the database. So it took around uh, 15 to 20 seconds. So here we can see a uh, connection has been established successfully. So you can go to the Postgres, you can check the dashboard. So, so what we are going to do, we are going to run a new query. So let's see, so what's our user details are, which got connected to the database. So I'm going to run a select current user, going to execute this query. So here you can see my current user is Rajneesh Kark and there is a random string. So this user got created on the fly. And after a couple of hours, so this user will be automatically removed. And then let's try to run another query. Let's get a count from PG user. So here the count is 40. So this is how the end user experience is gonna look like. So what I'll do, I'll disconnect from the server. As a next step, we will go to the audit and we will see whether all the audit events got captured. So I'm gonna disconnect and then let's go to the auditor page. Um, we are gonna click on the nine dots gonna go to the audit service. So it takes a couple of seconds for the audit to get appeared. So I'll pause this video and it will come back after a couple of seconds. It took around 40 to 50 seconds for all the audit events to get appeared. So here you can see our last connection to database, it happened while the just in time. So what I notice, so whenever you are using a PG admin tool, it try to open quite a number of connections. So this is the reason you see 
there are few connections got established. So, but we are going to click on this uh, one minute, 18 second session. So here you can see the target DB. So you can see the user on target. So this is the user got created on the fly. If I click on commands, so you will be able to see, hey, uh, we executed this command and we executed this specific command as well. So that's pretty much about uh, this specific demo for DPA for just-in-time access to the target database. So thanks a lot, everyone, for watching this short video.